Alright, good day everyone there on YouTube. This here is Merc. Just uh, doing a little video of a couple survival kits I made up. The first one I'm doing is my pocket survival kit. Feel free to uh, comment how you, how you will. No negative comments though, like freaking you're an asshole or your kit sucks or anything like that. Just like positive feedback would be great and constructive criticism on what I could improve on. It's the first video I'm after doing, so I'm ever doing, so bear with me. So this is just a case for it. Pretty simple little case, picked it up for two bucks at the dollar store there. Works great for fitting into a pocket, like cargo pants or if you got pockets on like snow pants or that. Or if you got big coat, or if you got big pockets on your coat, bear with me here. I get this open. Just them in there. All right. So the first thing we got in her, little magnesium stick, striker. There's one source of fire. Always good to have, especially up here in New in Newfoundland, Canada, where I'm to. Okay, another source of fire I got here. Obviously, Bic lighter. Always good. Okay. Then I got just a little match kit. Now I don't have any matches into it because basically I got my fire steel. And that, but I just packed this in with some with some tinder, waterproof, so keep it dry. Next thing we got, pack of razor blades. Works great, it's about ten to fifteen in here, so you know, different skinning things or whatever but many a Newfoundlander can attest to those being able to take to field dress a moose so I got just a small can opener in case I got any canned food with me also works great I, I tested this out on, my, on the flint on the magnesium stick this will also give me a spark so it also works great as a sparker if need be Instead of using my uh, knife blade or whatnot. Next thing I got, Swiss Army knife. A couple blades on there, bigger one, small one. Screwdriver and all, can opener, bottle opener, toothpick and tweezers. This always comes in handy. Next thing I got, just another little small pocket knife. Just in case. Let's get that open here now. Now it's small, but it'll work for cleaning trout or cutting a bit of line or something, whatever I needed to do. I mean, I ain't going to take down a grizzly now, would it? But I shouldn't have to worry about that here in Newfoundland. Just a little buck nano. Okay. Next thing I got, and I just got a bit of some matches. Now I got no striker for this. I might put a one. Might wind up putting a little striker in the kit. But the biggest reason I left these in here is because I got about two to three feet of uh, dental floss wrapped up around them, and I just got it wrapped up in saran wrap. So the dental floss I could use for fixing up, you know, for if I got to stitch up any wounds, God hope not, uh, or fishing line or whatnot, or, well, clean them with teeth if need be. <laughs> also got some more, also got some cordage here. It's a little bit thin line, it's strong though, so it'll be good. Also got a few nails and everything. For shelter making or whatnot, or if 
I want to drive him into the end of a stick and maybe make a little spear for fishing or something. Some more cordage here. This would be good for a little bit stronger cord than the dental floss. So, I mean, I could use that for fishing or whatever. I mean, you know, 1,001 uses of a cord, so even the smallest stuff will work. A little bit more cord there, nothing serious, just a little bit of soft cordage. Again, like I said, you know, whatever you use cord for. I just got a few safety pins, you know, used for, you know, making needles or making fish hooks or whatnot if I need to. Alright. Now here I got a little fishing kit. I got the... Uh, I don't know way you can see it there. Well, I just got the... Uh, some just simple little fish hooks, some split shot sinkers. I uh, got a couple small flies in there. You know, if I can't seem, if I can't find any worms or grubs or anything use for bait, I got some flies there. Uh, let's see. Got some bandages. Pretty self-explanatory. Just a bit of uh, paper towel. You know. Cleaning out my hands or fire starter or covering up a wound or whatever the case might be. Next thing I got, just a little speedy sharp knife sharpener. Obviously not going to be able to open the one handed, but it's good. I've used it. I mean, it doesn't take, by no means does it take the place of a uh, stone in that, but. When you're lost out in the woods and your blade's going a bit, if your blade's starting to get a bit dull, I mean, this will help you out and put an edge back onto it. Plus, it's also another, plus this will also give me a good spark off my fire stick. So, I mean, you know, sharpening the eyes and also a fire striker, so multiple, pur couple purposes there. That's uh, just a little bit of paper. Took out of an all toys can. When I tried to make one of those little all toy survival kits, you know, just if need be, get a fire going. Help me get a fire going if need be. Just a couple of little red devil spoons, you know, for fishing and stuff. Some more fish hooks, some leaders. Works great, especially with the size fish we have here in Newfoundland. It's perfect. Some rabbit snares. Well, some snares, I should say. Don't necessarily need to be for rabbit. You know, for catching food or even wire, I could use for mending something. And just a little whistle. I got one of those that comes off that uh, Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. I usually got a whistle on me at all times, so that's why I took this one off. I'll show that whistle in conjunction. The whistle that I'm talking about, uh, the other one, I'll show now in a minute because that goes along with this kit. I'm not going to blow onto it. Y'all know what a whistle sounds like. <clears throat> and anybody that sees the reviews online for the Bear Grylls Survival Kit, well, you know how good that was, how loud that whistle is. And just another fishing lure down there. I'm not going to bother taking it out, but, you know, just another Red Devil lure. So I got some lures and some flies and some that. So I got a little fishing kit. So that's just that part of the pocket survival kit. Now the other whistle I'm talking about is my survival whistle and I got a cord here so you know I can wear it around my neck I just got a little 
piece of fire steel stuck to the outside here this will give off a spark it doesn't work all it doesn't work super well but it will help out in a jam um, just got a little one of those little buck bantam blw knives on there for a little spare for an extra knife you can tell i don't like going anywhere without a knife i uh, just got that put on it with some elastic bands i just made out of an old inner tube Now I'm not going to take everything out this inside here, but inside I got a fire steel, some more fishing line, uh, a couple fish hooks, some split shot weights, uh, I got a couple snares, and I think I got a little bit of cotton, a little bit of cotton tinder. Uh, the compass don't work unfortunately, so I got to pick up a compass to go I gotta get a compass that will work to go in that kit. Doesn't weigh very much, maybe about a pound or so. Or when you're carrying it around your neck, I mean, you barely feel it. I wore this in the woods all day one day and didn't even know I had it there. So it works out pretty good. Knife's not a bad little knife. I mean, it's not the greatest, but hey, when you're in a jam, any blade will do, really. Alright, well that was the first video, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, first video ever made, so forgive the bit of dead air and everything on the go here, and the nervousness, but that's my little pocket survival kit, well, like I said, I appreciate any positive, positive feedback or any constructive criticism. You know, and how I can improve on that kit. That's the first one I've ever actually put together. So, by all means. Um, I know I don't, so probably the thing I'm going to add to is probably a bit of water purification tablets. Uh, I usually have a Brita bottle. One of those Brita filter bottles I usually take in the woods and me, I usually carry in with me too. So that will do a good job too of filtering out some. I know it won't filter at all, but it will filter out some. So yeah, whatever else you'd like to add, you know. Any comments or any gear you'd like to add about it, like I said, feel free. I'm always open to ideas and how I can improve. Alright. And the next video is going to be coming right up. I'm going to do that as a second video. And that's going to be on the bigger survival kit I made up that I'm going to either be taking in my knapsack or if I can find a pouch to fit it all in, I'll be carrying on me. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.